What's happening my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today it is a quick little movie review for the film Hocus Pocus streaming now on Disney Plus. This film has been 29 years in the making. Can you believe it's nearly been 30 years since the original Hocus Pocus? It's crazy. I'm getting old. Sad. So Hocus Pocus 2 is directed by Anne Fletcher, written by Jen D'Angelo and produced by Walt Disney Pictures. And of course, it's a sequel to the 1993 film and it stars Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy Najimy and Doug Jones reprising their respective roles. We obviously have the three main women as the Sanderson sisters and Doug Jones as as the oh-so-dreamy Billy Butcherson. I never thought there'd be a sequel to Hocus Pocus. I felt the original film just hit the right chord at the right time in 1993, and it's very cliche of me to say, Hocus Pocus was a massive part of my childhood. I remember wearing out that VHS tape from the video shop so many times. I still remember seeing Billy Butcherson for the first time and having the bejesus scared out of him because he essentially looks like a zombified version of Edward Scissorhands. Right, and cut to 2022 and we have a sequel, 29 years later. Now, is this film as good as the first one? No, but it's sufficient. It's fun, it does the job, it sets out what it wants to do. It just doesn't hit all those notes that the first one did. Now, first things first, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy Jimmy are great. They are still in fine form. They're back in their respective roles and they kill it. The chemistry is still there. The comedy is still there. The slapstick comedy, very reminiscent of the Three Stooges, just like the first one, a lot of slapstick and they absolutely crush it. And it was so good to see them back in their roles. I don't get the hate with Sarah Jessica Parker in terms of her looks. She's still got it, man. <laughs> so the film revolves around two friends by the name of Becca and Izzy. And 29 years later, they resurrect the Sanderson sisters who again are gonna cause havoc upon the town of Salem. And then of course, comedy hijinks ensue. So what I mean by the film is sufficient, like it just does the job, but it's nowhere near as good as the first. I feel if you were going to do a sequel to Hocus Pocus, it should have been done in say 1994 or 1995. A couple of years after the first one was released in 1993, I just think it was the time for quirky horror-esque movies, that macabre theme, much like the first Adams Family, Adams Family Values. That's why I should have made a point in my Monsters review. I feel Rob Zombie's The Monsters would have been great in the early 90s. I think it would have been comedic gold, not now. And I feel that is the same with Hocus Pocus 2. I think we're a couple of decades too late. Nonetheless, it's still a fun movie. Like I said with The Monsters, it's not Hamlet. It's not gonna win any awards anytime soon, but I still had fun with it. Granted, I just think the setting of 2022 was just off. You know, they've got to throw in the selfie type thing. The way technology is now, they're forcing it down your throat and like, we get it, we're in, we're in modern day time. You know, we're not in simpler times like 1993. Now in the first Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters were the antagonists. In Hocus Pocus 2, the film doesn't know if they're the antagonists or the protagonists, they switch back and forth. You're either rooting for them or you're not. And I think that's where the film ultimately gets very confused with the characterization of the three sisters. But like I said, nonetheless, the comedic timing with the three of them is brilliant. They haven't missed a beat, especially when it comes to the slapstick stuff, their interactions, the bouncing the quips off one another. I would like to see how much of their dialogue was improvised, if they were allowed to improvise. Cause I feel like some of the stuff they were saying amongst the three of them was just so off the cuff, very in the moment. Very funny. The standouts for me, Bette Midler and Doug Jones as Billy Butcherson. Billy Butcherson has a lot more screen time in this one. Loved him in the first one, even though his appearance is very brief. He gets a lot more screen time and he has a lot more to do with the plot this time around. And it's Doug Jones, man. The guy just looks like he's having an absolute ball and is an absolute delight. The costumes and the production is fantastic. Like it looks brilliant. Salem looks amazing. The Sanderson sisters costumes are brilliant. The makeup on Billy Butcherson looks amazing. Apparently Tony Gardner, who who did the makeup for Doug Jones in the first Hocus Pocus, who is back for the second one, used the same molds, the same makeup appliances that he used on the first one. Because Doug Jones just never changes. He's just obviously gotten older, but he's like form wise, aesthetic wise, he hasn't changed a bit. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So overall, ghouls and ghoulettes, I know this is a very short review, but you know, there's not really much else to say. I just feel Hocus Pocus 2 was a couple of decades too late. Like I said, if it had have come out on say 
1994, 1995, I think it would have been great. Just keeping within the realm of what was going on in the early 90s then, much in the vein of Adam's Family 1 and Adam's Family Values, and it would have been cool to see how Rob Zombie's The Monsters would have been in the early 90s too. Nonetheless, it's still a fun film, and it's just, it's self-aware of how silly it is, but again, it just doesn't hold a candle to the first one. Again, I just feel a sequel should have been done a few years after the first one, but nonetheless, I still had fun with it, so I'm going to be giving it three Billy Butchersons out of five. So guys, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts once you've seen Hocus Pocus 2. Did it live up to the hype when it was first announced? Is it as good as the first one, or you just weren't keen on it? Guys, wherever you run the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, ghouls and ghoulettes, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.